Hello, Nick Snacks, Barbara Nicolato here. All Roads Lead Home is the name of this card that we are going to be doing today. The background is created with spray distressed oxide inks using the smoosh technique. I'll be using Lavinia stamps. The materials used are listed below this video with links for purchasing. So let's begin. On this piece of glass, I will be spraying Candied Apple Distress Oxide Spray, followed by Picked Raspberry, adding now some Squeezed Lemonade, followed by Cracked Pistachio. Then I'm going to take my water mister bottle and just squeeze a fine little mist of water over this. I have prepared a sheet of multifarious cardstock that's about six by eight and a half inches. And I'm just smushing it down, hence the word the smush technique, onto the glass plate. It picks up all the color. And then I try to pull up a second print uh, also, which I'll probably use for a project later on. It doesn't have all the vibrance and color and coverage, actually, than the first one did. But I can play with that later. Now I'm going to just concentrate on the print that I pulled. And I'm going to just take a brush and try to fill in some areas where maybe the paint was a little too light. Spread it around a little bit. And I'm just using a brush dipped in water to do this. I'm going to give this a little bit of time to dry on its own. And then I will come back when I'm ready to stamp. I just love it when something unexpected happens. Do you see that little circle inside the yellow area? That's perfect for centering the lantern for the, from the stamp called Enchanted Dreams. I'm going to use that as the focal point and then develop the rest of the card from there. My ink pad may have been a little dry, as you can see that the stamp did not print as dark as I would have liked it to. I'm going to take out my Stabilo black pencil um, and just go over it and darken it up little by little. You're seeing me use the Nouveau Surface Sweeper. It's excellent in removing the small carbon particles when using your hand could smear the surface of the card. I'm going to complete coloring the snail itself later. Um, I'm going to bring in the mini snail, small, as an accompaniment to the Enchanted Dreams snail. And I'm going to start to develop my scene. So behind the scenes, I stamped and fussy cut the Enchanted Dream stamp onto a piece of Masking Magic by Gina K Designs. I am now affixing it to the Enchanted Dreams stamp so that I don't go over this stamp 
with any other colors and inks that I'll be using. With a torn sheet of printer paper, a smoothie, and VersaFine Clear Green Oasis, I'm going to start creating some landscape. At this point, I'm going to be stamping in the plants. I'm going to start with the Christmas Eve tree, and then I'm going to use uh, the fir tree one and the fir tree for the landscape. I'm going to fill in areas using the Lavinia stamp field grass and forest creeper. By using a torn sheet of printer paper as a mask, I can print off some of these stamps partially, making them appear as smaller trees or smaller plants. The Lavinia stamp 360 Hanging Lanterns has become one of my favorites. It's a long stamp, and by using um, or by inking up shorter sections of it, I can achieve along the top what would look like long and short lanterns. These little lanterns are also a lot of fun to color in, either using the Jelly Roll glitter pens or the Posca paint pens. Now it's time to bring in my pan pastels and to peel the mask off the Enchanted Dreams stamp. See how clean the wings are now? so that when I apply color to them later, they won't have that VersaFine Claire ink on them. The mask has also kept the lantern clean. Otherwise, I would have had the fir tree stamped right over that lantern. With the Pan Pastel Pearlescent Yellow, I'm using the Soft Applicator Tool, and I'm applying it around the lantern and to certain areas of the landscape to give it a yellow glowing effect. Now I'm pulling out the titanium white pan pastel and I'm looking for an area where I'm going to make a moon. So I'm using Circles Galore masks from Del Bello's designs. I'm using the 13 16th of an inch circle and with a brush and water I'm trying to take away some of the ink. I had a quick thought to use a white pencil to color in the moon first, but that was not working out well, so I decided to go immediately to the white, the titanium white pan pastel and the applicator. This actually proved to be a good move because I got a really nice effect on the moon. White and a shiny look to it.
At this point, I'm going to try to clean up my scene a little bit and use the black pencil to finish coloring over the fairy and the snail. Now, I have an applicator that I dipped into the VersaFine Clear Nocturne Ink and I'm applying some shadow work. For the wings, I've chosen red, yellow, and orange Prismacolor pencils. I think that's one of the most fun parts when I do these fairies is coloring in the wings. I love it. At this point, I'm going to pull out my Posca paint pens to color the ornaments on the tree. The tree is called Christmas Eve. The four colors that I've selected are all the glitter version of the colors. And now with my Jelly Roll pens, yellow, gold, green, and red. I'm going to add some accents, little highlights, little touches here and there just to make it sparkle and shine a little. I'm adding a little gold to the trees. Um, I'm going to go back to the tree and maybe go over some of the Poscas with the glitter color. I'm certainly going to go to the hanging lanterns and give them some glitter. And for some finishing touches at the end, I'm taking my clear Jelly Roll pen and outlining the moon. And then I'm going to go over the wings of the fairy. And they're going to give a, a really beautiful glow to the colored pencil look. To finish my picture off, I take my white jelly roll and I outline some of the major characters or features in the card. And this will bring attention to them, make them stand out more, give them some dimension. So there you have it. All roads lead home. The cardstock has been trimmed to five by seven with a black mat underneath and all affixed to a white card base. The dimensions are below the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and will continue watching our YouTube tutorials on DelBellosDesigns.com. And if you haven't already done so, please consider joining our Facebook groups. The links are right here on your screen. Thank you and have a great day.